Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilium. I'm Aiko. And in the last episode we got to this mine-like place and found Alvin and uh, Elise mostly unhurt. And this is what I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I got down here and how the fuck I get out. Cause I have no clue where I'm going. There. Yep, there. There indeed. And there I go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I came all this way for a chest. With feathers in it. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Hostiles. No, I'm not hostile. I just came here to get my friends that you guys kind of kidnapped, so... You know, that was the thing. So, is Elise not gonna fight in the party? Oh, I guess she is in the party. I guess she... She said she couldn't fight without Tipo before. Well, now I'm not here. Whatever. Um, let's go in here. Here sounds like a good idea. Uh, it's a chest. See, it was a good idea. Doesn't show me how to get out, but I got a chest, so... Half win. Hostiles. Nope. Not hostile. Chest. Give me that. Fuck you. Oh, you're not gonna come over here. Are we having a staring contest? What a- oh! Shit, I thought she was gonna not turn around. Fine, I'm kicking your ass. That's how it's gonna work. Come here, you son of a bitch. Ow, fuck you. Well, she does fight, but... Tipo's probably off by default or something. Yeah, those combo really nicely. Die! Die. Thank you. Die, tree. What is this? A mine plant? Die, mine plant. Not what I meant to do at all. I like how Tipo is pretty much fine in battles and there, but he's totally not fine at all. Okay, where the fuck am I? Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I should jump down or something. Or go up. Yeah, I, w I came from up higher, so let's go up. Fuck you, tree. The mine plant. Going up. Alright, let's work our way around here, I guess. I'll totally figure this out. Don't even worry about it. I'll find the way out. It's definitely not this way, though. Definitely not that way. Let's go this way. Open the door. Okay. Yep. Yep, there I am. And there I go. Let's cross this bridge. I'm sh oh! I didn't see you. I want you. How do I get you? Can I get you from- Oh, I have to check was there for a second. Is it? it? Just keep mashing X. I see it's there! Don't toy with me, game. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know it- I know it's there. Give it to me. Give it. Goofy glass? I don't even fucking care. Thanks for giving it to me. Jesus. Oh, it's harder than I need to be. Okay, I know I came from this direction. There. Yep. Well, yep. 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 There. Just fuck you. Ah, it's a tree! Bye, tree. <laughs> Did I ever full- I didn't really fully explore this place there. last time, I don't think, because they were enemies. Eh, it wasn't really anything there. special. Yep, there. Hello. I hate these guys. Ugh, come here. I hate the flamethrower dudes. They fucking suck. In fact, they suck so much. They suck so much that I'm just gonna run from them. Damn. Run. Bye. Give me that. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, where did I come from from here? No fucking clue. Oh, I can jump up here. Get up here. Get me up here. I know I crossed the tallest bridge, the highest bridge, and this is 
the highest bridge is over here, so let's let's try and get over there. Let's go through here. Take this. Mine. It's mine. It's mine and not yours. You can't have it. Dogs, heal! My apologies if my pets frightened you. I had to sick them on some poachers. Jiao? Mm -hmm. What brings you lot here? <sighs> I see you finally returned to this place, child. You remember it, do you? What's he talking about? This is the lab where the little lady was raised. The laboratory has been abandoned for some time, ever since we had that intruder. I take it that intruder was you, Alvin? Women's intuition, huh? I was investigating the boosters they were making here. What? So it was you. What's a booster? A gadget developed by Ajul to ramp up the mana generated by the mana lobe. Elise is actually holding one right now. Tipo. The Spud's apparently a third generation booster. So, you're just a gadget, Tipo? You have named me Tipo. Pleased to meet you. A booster reads the mind of its owner and speaks aloud his or her thoughts. So all this time Tipo was just saying what's on Elise's mind? True! Tipo was talking on his own! Tipo, you might be a machine, but you're still my friend, right? Nope. I'm just a machine, Elise. No! You're my friend! Nope. You are mistaken. I'm just a device that verbalizes your thoughts. Elise, I'm sorry. Tell us, big guy. Where are lonely little Elise's mommy and daddy? They... They are no longer with us. What? When you were just four years old, your parents were attacked by a bandit and murdered. I'll never see them again. Not mother, not father. Not even Tipo! Hey. I know how bad this must... You still have your parents and friends! As if these people could ever understand how you feel. Elise, wait! Ugh, damn poachers again. Hold on. Why was Elise at this laboratory? Well, she was brought here. Sold, really. There was this woman who would gather up orphans and take them to the laboratory. What was her name? I don't suppose it was Isla. Yes, that's it. Isla. A poacher of children, you might say. I have no rights telling you this, but please, never let that child be alone again. I feel bad now. Be careful. This place is crumbling down all around us. It's as if no human has set foot in here for years. Alvin's wound. How bad is your wound? Well... I failed at the job I was sent to do, and now you guys are here. The wound to my pride might be mortal. And now you've betrayed Exodus, too. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. For all you know, I might have even staged all that. You're just the traitor type, aren't you? Yep, that's just who I am. 
Well, regardless, thanks for risking your life for us. My, my. You really are the honor student type. Yeah, that's just who I am. <laughs> the mercenary client privilege. I don't understand. What did Exodus take from Tipo? Alvin? Answering that would violate the mercenary client privilege, but whatever. I imagine they swiped his data memory. Basically, boosters need a compatible partner, and they said they'd never seen a more compatible match than Elise and Tipo. So I bet the data Tipo recorded is going to be a big deal in the world of booster development. But what does Exodus want with boosters when they already have Spyrex? Sorry, I don't know the answer to that. But we do know one thing. Indeed. It certainly can't be anything good. Yep, and I still feel bad for Elise. Can I jump down from here? Zhao just jumped the fuck down. Why can't I jump down? Whatever. I'm not here. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. Let me just do this and then leave. See you later. Find out where Elise went. Maybe go grab that chest. Where was it? Uh, over there? Yeah, maybe go grab that chest. We'll see. Oh, there's a chest over there too. Son of a bitch, there's chests everywhere. Oh, there they are. I'm not here. Oh, perfect. Thank you, scene. How is she doing? She's fine. <laughs> well, as fine as can be expected, given what she's learned. Anyway, this place is dangerous. Let's get back to the city. Okay. There. But fuck the city for now. I want this chest. Give me that. Stone ward. Okay. And then Elise the stalker. So what's the deal with that giant guy in Elise? Is that her stalker or something? What's a stalker? It's like when someone's super obsessed with everything you do and follows you around. I see. So you would be Jude's stalker, for example. What? Mila, how could you? Doesn't it seem like that man knows the truth about Elise's past? Zhao seemed very concerned about Elise's well-being, but I don't know why. Zhao, you say? I've heard that name before. He might be a warrior of some renown. He has a remarkable talent for controlling monsters. Interesting. Interesting indeed. There. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, this way was the other chest, so I'm gonna go get that one. Because I can. What? Hello, goodbye. See you never. Hostiles. Is that all you can say? Give me this. Giant shell. Oh, I can't go around the chest. I was gonna go around the chest to try and avoid her, but she stopped anyways. So, whatever. Huh? 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 Okay, sorry. Alright, let's go ahead and walk out here and see what happens. Oh, no scene? Cool. Uh, let's see, how much money did I pick up? Uh, a decent amount of money. Um... Can I fast travel now? Yeah, Jean do. Sure. That's the only place she'll let me go, then I suppose I can go there. Something on your mind? Huh? You haven't been yourself since we spoke to Zhao. Yeah. I heard you followed the bad guys into the hunting grounds. I was worried. Well, it was an eventful manhunt, but we made it back in one piece. I'm so sorry you all got dragged into this. What a horrible coincidence. Isla, you can drop the act. W what do you mean? I really was worried about you. Why would I lie about that? Jude, what are you saying? I'm saying it was no coincidence we met Isla. Remember what those locals told us when the bell rang for the finals? At tournament time, any outsiders are either combatants or spectators. <laughs> right. I recall what she said when she came to help us. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? 
No one here would need to ask that. Not at tournament time. You were ordered to make contact with us. By Exodus. Isla, that's not true, is it? They said you'd never find out. They promised. But I had no choice in the matter. They blackmailed you, didn't they? They know your secret. Your former... occupation. They asked. Wouldn't it be a shame if Jürgen found out? What happened to the girl breaks my heart. But I had no choice back then either. Please, don't tell Jürgen. He doesn't know. How could I tell him? He's a good man. But it's all in the past, isn't it? Your fiancé should know these things. You're a woman! How can you not understand this? I'm damaged goods. If he found out about my past, he'd leave me. I finally found happiness with Jürgen. For once in my life. Please. Don't tell him. Please. Hmm. I doubt I'll ever understand human love. It has so many rules and conditions. What should we do, Elise? You decide. Me? Why do I have to? This woman's actions affected you far more than us. There's nothing I can do to make it up to you. But please, forgive me. I just don't care anymore. Elise is all alone now, no matter what you do. <laughs> try to find Jürgen. We need to talk to him about the Wyverns. What's wrong, kid? Isla said there was nothing she could do to make it up to Elise. But did she actually try? Is there really nothing she can do? Isla is the only one who can answer that question. Alrighty then, uh, with that, that'll be the end of this episode. In the next episode, I guess I will find Jürgen. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!